And now to the future of space, lighting up the sky over Florida's space coast overnight. NASA successfully launching its most powerful rocket to space after two failed attempts. Yeah, that high stakes Artemis one mission will send the rocket to the moon. Local sense Gio and Signares joins us from the newsroom with more on what this launch means. Gio. Alexis, Eric, it truly is an incredible feat. 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust lifting off right from the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. The milestone event kicking off a journey that will send an uncrewed spacecraft around the moon, paving the way for NASA to eventually return astronauts to the lunar surface for the first time in 50 years. Three, two, one. A Boost blast the off for the ages. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. NASA going back to the moon for the first time in 50 years. Really just surreal to be getting a front row seat to history. Launching the most powerful rocket in the world into space early this morning, kicking off its high stakes Artemis One mission. There were a few bumps in the road before liftoff, including a small hydrogen leak, though a team of experts rushing in to fix the problem. This is the red crew that is specifically tasked to uh, go out and tighten some bolts on the core stage hydrogen replenish valve. NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS rocket, will send the Orion space capsule 62 miles above the moon's surface, then into orbit around the moon before splashing down on the coast of San Diego early next month. This is a test flight with test dummies, but if it succeeds, astronauts could do the same in two years. We're going back to the moon to learn, to live, to work, to create, to invent, so we can take humans. The ultimate goal of the mission, establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by the end of the decade. It's really going to be a stretch to get the new technologies, the new propulsions, the ability to keep humans alive in a deep vacuum of space. This successful launch comes after two scrubbed attempts engine sensor issues and hydrogen leaks causing the delays. The SLS spaceship even riding out Hurricane Nicole last week on its launch pad, but only sustaining some minor damage, according to NASA. And right now everything is going as planned. The rocket is well on its way to the moon, but it will still be several days until it gets there. And you can of course count on Local 10 to keep you updated on this historic mission. For now in the newsroom, I'm Gio Insignares, Local 10 News.